Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Before we get into today's video, I do want to make one confession to you. Uh, while trying to clear out video footage, I deleted the intro today. So this is being recorded on a completely separate day. Um, so regardless, here we go. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be hitting up two antique malls, the Silver Moon Antique Mall and the Silver Moon Antique and Consignment Barn. Both, of course, are sister stores and they also happen to be a, uh, there's a third sister. It is the Lewisburg Antique Mall in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. All three are in Lewisburg. So let's get inside and uh, let's check it out. Here we go. Honestly, they've got a great exterior presence to them. You know, kudos to that. Sometimes you see some of these antique malls and they're a little rough. Not to say that tell me, look, some of them rough antique malls, that's where you want to be. Because that's where you get the good stuff on the cheap. How you doing today? Good. Pyrex. Not what we're looking for. They have one booth. One booth is available up in here that's how you know they run in their business just saying there's an atm here so if it's a cash only discount you can get cash stop it important it is important we're gonna try to hit this one hard and heavy so the video is gonna be a little fast don't know how long it's gonna be because we are on a time constraint donna hughes i'm looking for those mclaughlin brothers you all know Okay, looking around, looking around. I found some things in this booth before. Kanawa. Um, some Marigold Carnival at 30. That's honestly not that bad. I want to find another, another like antique Fenton Northwood giant swung carnival glass vase that was such a thrill that was a thrill okay i'll hit you back when we find something fingers are crossed what i'm seeing the color is catching my eye and it's this one right here look at that Ooh, that's fenton $20. Look at that. That is sick. $20. I'll take your friend. I'm loving the colorway on this also. I can't believe we just got this for $20. What is this? Quanto costa? Let's see how much you're going to be. Well, let's see. We can peek here. $30. Um. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. Nice golden girl vibes. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for admiring. Don't sit on it. Oh wait, if interested, please feel free to sit down. Otherwise, please use the bed. <laughs> Love it. Where you at? Listen, you... <sighs> With tumblers, I'm assuming. 89 imperial cute i'm still gagging like i love this yay glass come on murka red white and blue vibe where are we at blue westmoreland pedestal fairy lamp not feeling it 68 no do do Looks like a little Westmoreland. Oh, yep, yeah. Westmoreland, 36. Not hateful. A little of the diamond optic here. 25, that's not that bad. Didn't I see a piece of Impoli, or am I... There's that blue down there, but I swear I just thought I saw... Well, let's see how much our cobalt little candy dish here is. 15. I'm... Feeling like this is more of a contemporary one than a vintage, actually. So it is cute if you love it. 15, I don't think is horrible, but um, with the uncertainty, ooh, that one's a nice one. Who are you? Anchor Hawking. Interesting. Cobalt blue dish, small chip. Oh, sugar creamer here. 
30 for this set. Oh my lord, Michael. Happy little blue bird there. We've got a condiment dish. That one is at a hundred dollars. One nineteen in the Kanawa. Yeesh. Okay, so we're not gonna touch those. Um that said, I don't know that we're gonna hold out hope <laughs> over here. I can't say with any certainty that these are actually vintage. They could be contemporary. These are still produced. So without stickers, frankly, I try, yeah, I try to stay away from these. Hmm. Two twenty-five. Are you guessing with me? Two twenty-five. Hmm. Oh. 139.50. I'm not mad. That's actually relatively reasonable anymore when I see those out and about. Um, these things skeeve me out. I have found a couple of these before, and a number of you have shown interest this one is at $60 so I don't know that I'm going to get that one I just the texture ooh, gives me the heebie-jeebies y'all the heebs and the jeebs um, contemporary piece made to look old 27 it's not hateful but mm, hmm you know, I'm wondering if I do get this. I know it's 140 and that's way more than I would want to, quite frankly, spend. However, if I'm able to better defray the cost... I'm all up in the business. It's like residue is left on there. We'll see what else we find. If I can kind of spread the cost out, I will get it. Is that a Tanala? No, it's Tanala. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a candle. Come here. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. <laughs> here is a clear Ellie Smith Moon and Stars candy dish. I love this shape because you're so used to seeing uh, like the pedestal ones. Now here is the moment of truth. Oof, yeah. As is common. Ooh, there's a... Oh, no, that's a straw mark. But lots of flea bites around the rim on those. So common. Drats. Don't worry, we're still carrying it around. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh. Kind of like vintage toy vibes. I don't know. What do you have over here? Let's see. 24. That's not evil. Ploof. <laughs> it's ploof, y'all. Milk glass. 40. Need it when I need it to be. Um, It's like a reproduction. Though I do see that Westmoreland green flag. Cute setup. I don't really get into the kitchenware. It's a tough sell. For me, at least, I have found it to be a tough sell. Um. Let's see. Anything over here? Don't so much think so. What is this? This looks like a plain, okay, so there's no pattern to it at all. Oh, no, there's a floral, light floral. Eh, not in love, not in love. We need to be in love with the things that we buy, y'all. Pretty amethyst picture. Oh, uh, contemporary. 
priced at 45 priced at 45 oh, what is this <laughs> trick and treat okay okay I see a couple of things in this booth. First up is this candy dish, the blue cobalt with the applied um, feet on there. I love those little nubby feet. It's only $12, so inevitably I'm like, what's wrong with it? Um, oh, look. Oh my lord. Why don't we make something else wrong with it, Michael? There is a chip. Pretty sizable one right back here. Well, it's not going to focus, but it is right chill. Yeah, drags. Piece that I see is this Andrea, uh, set up by Andrea here. This urn here, I actually have two of these myself, and at $15, that is an insane deal, specifically because of these figural ones. It's vintage, it's not antique. Obviously, it's got like a Greek revival to it. 15 bucks. Um, oh, Okay, we will take that, no doubt. That is absolutely amazing. It is a movie poster for Masters of the Universe. Dolph Lundgren, a young Courtney Cox. I can still watch this movie and enjoy it. I'm just saying. Okay, I found an antique children's books. It is old, old fairy tales. And the illustrator we see here from the cover is Ann Anderson. Let me set it down here. I want to see... Okay, it's 8.50... It's shaken. A bug got a hold of it. A moth, more than likely, started to make a meal of it. Look at these illustrations. Uh, it is not in the best condition, but Miss Anderson has got some fun. Oh, there's a. Looks like there's maybe a picture missing there. Ah. Uh, are you going to give me a date? You're not. Briar Rose or The Sleeping Beauty. Let's check out these. There is black and white illustrations as well as color. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, look at that. That's for Beauty and the Beast. That's gorgeous. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I saw a Little Mermaid story. I want to see what the illustration for The Little Mermaid is. Six swans. Oh, come on, Little Mermaid. I swear. It's easy to kind of see where the color plates are on this one. Hop. Oh, my thumb. Okay. Provocative. Here's one. Is this? Oh, wait. I see the word mermaid. This has got to be it. The Little Mermaid. Oh, I love it. We're snatching it. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we didn't get a lot in there and that's okay, but we still got some. I am in love with that Fenton vase. Oh, that's gonna ooh, sting a little bit to let that one go. But we're gonna go ahead and go over to the Silver Moon Antique, or pardon me, the Silver Moon Consignment Barn. It is a partner store. This is one of three stores uh, that they have. So let's go over there and see if maybe we can find some other stuff. Here we go. Similar. Kind of similar to the last one. You can kind of tell that they are, in fact, sister stores. There's that horror show over there. Let's get inside, see if we can find a few more things. Here we go. The childhood nostalgia in me is hitting so hard. The fact that the box is present, am I like crazy that I legitimately want to get this and like put the batteries in and clean him up and sleep with Glowworm at night? This is the OG Glowworm. He's a little dirty there, but the plush is excellent. 1982. Let's check the battery compartment. Listen, look. <gasps> it works. A little glow. I'm dying. We have to get it. We have to. Just saw these at another antique mall, and they were priced at 38. This is at 30. The interesting thing is that this set doesn't have. I don't. No, this is it. Maybe this is all they made, but they do the. That does sound like a baby check. This. A cat. A puppy. A pig. And what is this? A squirrel. I 
I just I don't know. The graphics are super kitchalicious, but $30 seems a little spendy still for me. Super mod display here. Look at those black Pyrex bowls. Hmm. Um, I'm not like, whoa, by anything. I like it all together. That's where those blocks are. Don't know if I'm spotting anything else. These have been here before, but I think they're kind of spendy. Yeah. So I'm going to have to hold off on those. Whoa. I know they're going to be expensive. Why am I even getting myself excited right now? The large one. Shush. Your face is at 150. Look at it. There's something. There's a crack in that glass. Oh. Whoa, you see it? Is it coming right there? Yeah, there is. It's right there. Dang. Dang. Ooh, purdy. This one's a hundred. I don't know if they realize it's as is, but it's still a gorgeous sculpt. Look at that color. Yeesh, love it. I literally found glowworm and that's it. It says machine washable. Some of them are going to, I don't understand how it would be. I guess you have to take out the battery pack. Jeez, jeez, just glowworm. I did just catch this sign. It's 20% off here. I'm not going to go for the Garfield fishbowl, though I do think that's rather clever. Uh, I did spot the Fenton Colonial Blue, a little miniature swung vase. It's 20. I knew it's not. Oh, it's got the original paper label. I mean, it's 14 bucks. <sighs> Why am I? I just can't with the Fenton. I, it's, I don't know what's wrong with me, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I do spot this gold crest over here. Now, I've had several pieces of gold crest. I have not had this one. What are you on? Ugh, we're going to try to grab the price here. <sighs> Melon vase. Trinity boy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it on this at twenty four. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it. Talk about Halloween. I'm seeing some paper masks back here and that clown at six dollars. The driver, the one that's in the back, he's got a crease, so I'm gonna leave him. The crown's creep the clown is creepy. And look, I also saw this little Fenton Cobalt Carnival basket. It's so little bitty and cute. We gotta add that too. Alrighty guys, well there you have today's Shop With Me video. We got two stores into one video. I'm pleased with that. While we didn't get a whole lot, I still think we got some amazing things. I mean, Glowworm, the Fenton vase from earlier. I think we got some pretty things here at the end. I was sweating it a little bit, not gonna lie. As always, you guys, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works. And you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.